Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys from start to finish how to live stream on YouTube using OBS, the free software that I use to live stream to YouTube and Twitch and all of the different various places that you may want to stream. But today, I'm gonna show you how to set up OBS, how to set up your live stream events, or how to just go live directly on your YouTube channel. A lot of things have changed since I've made my uh, last video on how to do this. So let's go ahead and dive in now. So the first way that you can go live is YouTube now has a feature to go live directly from basically the homepage of YouTube by clicking the camera icon in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that, you're going to see something there below upload video that says go live. I don't prefer this method because you don't have much control over like the title and the thumbnail. But if you want to go live quickly, you can basically do that via the go live button there. And that's more for mobile devices to be completely honest with you so if you want to stream on YouTube the way that I would go about doing it is log into your account like I just told you to do previously go to your creator studio so go ahead and go to creator studio and then on the left hand side here you're gonna see something that says live streaming so under live streaming click on the live streaming link there on the left hand side you're gonna see two options you're gonna see one that says stream now and then you're gonna see one that says events now with stream now it basically works where if you set up the stream and basically you do it now, you'll be streaming basically right after you set it up, right after you get the stream key, you put that into OBS, you'll be streaming right then and there. The events option, which is the one below stream now, will allow you to schedule an event in the future. So say I have a live stream that I do every Friday morning and I will be setting that up in this tutorial video to show you exactly how to go about doing that. Now, if we go back to stream now, I'm going to show you this one briefly. So if we go to stream now, uh, what you'll want to do is basically follow the checklist. So uh, setting up the encoder software and then add a stream info and then obviously optional features and then you go live. So what we're going to want to do is under basic info you're gonna tag and title this basically like you would a normal video give it a title here in the basic info and then type in the description here below that as well give it a category if you're playing a video game then you can also name the game uh, and then as far as privacy if you want the stream to be public which I assume that you do choose public but you can select unlisted and private if you want that stream to be unlisted or private now the next tab is going to be stream options enable DVR so basically Basically what this means is that view, viewers will be able to seek back up to four hours while you are streaming. So basically they can go back and watch before and after up to, uh, but not extended beyond four hours. Uh, and then basically you want to make an archive unlisted when complete. Now if you uncheck this, it'll basically go straight to public. So when your stream is over, it'll basically process the live stream you just got done doing and then basically make that public on your channel. Below that under stream optimizations, this is going to depend on the the strength or the ability of your internet. If you have very uh, strong or fast internet, then you can go to normal latency uh, or ultra low latency for a very, very slow. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you guys is going to be monetization. If you want to monetize your stream, you can do it that way. And I think I, I failed to mention this, but if you want to change the thumbnail, which I highly recommend that you do, basically it works just like a video. Go to change thumbnail here and then basically choose the thumbnail you want to use, and that's going to be be the thumbnail that we see uh, last thing I want to show you guys basically is the encoding software so the encoding software you have to think of it like this way uh, you've got to give OBS a way to connect with your YouTube channel. Uh, and so down below at the very bottom of this here, below uh, the stream information, below the basic information, you are going to see something that says encoder setup. So what you're going to want to do is this guy here that is hidden, and I'm going to leave it hidden, uh, is basically your stream key. This is the key, <laughs> no pun intended here, to allow you to live stream on YouTube. If you don't have this correct, correct or proper key inputted or inserted into OBS or whatever streaming software you're using, 
YouTube and OBS will not be talking with each other and your live stream will never happen. So you've got to make sure you copy that stream, stream key. So go ahead and reveal that and copy that. So I'm not going to show you that now. I'm going to go ahead and copy mine and then go ahead and navigate over to OBS and show you how to put it in OBS now. So quickly before I hop over to OBS, select all of the numbers and letters within this box here and then right click and copy and then go ahead and navigate over to OBS. So now we have opened up OBS. Now how do we set this up with an OBS to make sure that the two are talking with each other. What you're going to want to do now is go to the settings in the lower right hand corner of the OBS box. Under this option, you need to go to the second tab, which is titled stream under stream. You're going to want to change that service from whatever you have it to, uh, to be YouTube slash YouTube gaming, the server you can leave to uh, be the primary YouTube server. That's what I always do. Now, if you're having some issues later on with say buffering and things like that issues with latency, maybe you go here and choose a backup YouTube server and search for one closer to your location. But as of right now, I would leave it to the primary YouTube server. And then where the stream key, where you see this here, basically, put your cursor there, select all of that, right click, and then go to paste. And then once you do that, if you want to make sure it is the correct stream key, you can click the show button here on the right, and that will show the characters to make sure you can double check and make sure they're exactly what you want them to be. Now, you can't just click OK. You've got to click apply in the lower right hand corner of OBS. So hit apply just like that there, and then click OK. Now, once you've done that, you basically have OBS and you have YouTube chatting with each other, which will allow you to live stream. Now, as far as setting up OBS, I have a separate tutorial showing you how to do that. I'll put that in the annotations in the corner of this video. It's like a 20 some odd minute video showing you basically how to set up OBS and get it to look the best that it can be. I also have other tutorials showing you how to uh, basically get the most from your audio on live streams, how to get your chat box on the live stream. I've got a ton of OBS tutorials. That's not what this video is for today. This is just to show you how to get started streaming on YouTube utilizing OBS. So once you have that set up, if you hit start streaming right now on OBS, basically what's going to happen is you are going to be live streaming directly on your YouTube channel from that set up live stream we just went through. So if we go back to YouTube, whatever you've titled this live stream, basically if you go back to the dashboard here on stream now, when you hit start streaming on OBS, if you inputted the correct stream key, you my friend will now be streaming on your YouTube channel. And so that is how the stream now option works. But my favorite is going to be in the events tab. So under events here, what this is going to be under events, it's going to allow you to schedule a stream. What are the benefits of scheduling a stream? There's a lot of benefits. Let me tell you a couple of those. One of those is that it will go out to your subscribers, notifying them, showing them the thumbnail, the people who hit that bell icon. And basically it will show up in their feed as, oh, this person is going live this date at this time. So maybe you're going live a day from now, two days from now, it'll let them know, even gives them an option to add it to their calendar. So if Events, uh, as far as live streaming goes, if you know when you're going to live stream, this is definitely the way to go. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that now. So under events here, under live streaming, and again, obviously, I think it's pretty obvious you need to be logged into your YouTube channel to do this. Uh, go to schedule a new event, the blue link there uh, underneath the option. And then this is where all of the magic happens. Now, it works very similar to the stream now as far as the basic info. You're going to want to give your live stream a title. So go ahead and title your live stream here. So so say live stream upcoming, whatever you want to title the live stream. And then the next option is going to be where you schedule the date and time for your live stream. So for me, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, Friday at 1030 AM Eastern standard time. So go ahead and find the exact time that you're going to be streaming. So say 1030 AM. And then if you want to, you can even add an end time, but I normally leave it open ended because honestly, once I start streaming, I never know how long I'm going to be going for under the description box here, very simple or very similar to a normal video. You're going to want to type in the description of the stream, let people know uh, what the stream is going to be about. So what the stream is about about will go in the description any links and things like that social media stuff that you normally would put down below in your description you can include all of those as well so just basically treat this as a description box for a video that you would upload on your channel but obviously make it you know you know relevant to the live stream under tags you're going to want to tag this just like you do a normal video uh, so you know I do YouTube live streams about helping people with YouTube so for me I type in words such as YouTube uh, YouTube training uh, 
uh, YouTube uh, education. Uh, basically, I do a, a lot of different things like that. So you want to tag your live streams like you would a video. So we're acting as if this is a normal video that we upload. Now, under advanced settings, this is where things can get a little tricky. I would leave this no basically kind of where it is now. You want to enable live chat. Make sure that is checked. Uh, slow mode, if you have a lot of people in your stream and you want to slow the chat down so you can see what everyone is saying, uh, go through here kind of uh, sift through all of these options to see if there's something that kind of fits your content. Other, otherwise, I wouldn't mess with it. Under category here, if you're a gamer, obviously you'll change that to gaming. If you're doing sports stuff, you'll change that to sports. Again, you can go through here, sift through here, and figure out kind of which ones you want to change or tweak. So this is all under info and settings. Now, once we do this, we then basically want to make sure that the type, basically the type of stream over here on the right hand side is set up to be custom. This will give us more encoding options and with your events, every event that you schedule, now this is something you need to understand, every event that you schedule will have its own stream key. So the stream key that we just put into OBS will be different every time when we do events. I love that YouTube does that, allows us to get a fresh stream key, and it kind of eliminates any issues that may arise from that. So make sure this type here is chosen uh, as custom as opposed to quick. Uh, again, you can do quick with Google Hangouts on air, but the quality will be much, much less. Uh, then the next thing you wanna do is go up here and go to create event, the blue button that says create event. And then once we create the event, we're gonna see a few different things come available to us here. We're gonna see under the main camera tab, the ability to add a thumbnail I always have a thumbnail so if you go to browse here and then I go to my YouTube channel uh, I can go up here and choose a thumbnail like I normally would from you know for a normal video so choose a thumbnail upload that thumbnail you always want to treat this as a normal video you want your thumbnail to be clickable you want it to be colorful you want people to want to watch your live stream now down below this is where you choose do you want it to be a reusable stream key or do you want it to be a single use stream key? Now, you can choose the reusable stream key if that's what you want to do. And then you select a stream, basically you can you know, manage your streams and do them but down by here. But what I would do is every time you do an event, do a single use stream key. Because what happens is it's gonna allow you to very easily change them in and out and you know and you're not confused over which stream key to use. So basically what's gonna happen is, you can see here now that the stream name is given underneath that name, I'm basically given a stream key. So as you can as you can see here, I basically have a, a separate stream key for this stream. Now obviously I'm gonna delete this before I upload this video, so this stream key is not gonna work. But what you'll have to do is under the stream name, copy the stream key like you normally would, navigate back over to OBS, go to settings once again, and then under stream, underneath YouTube, YouTube Gaming as the service, under stream key, select this, right click and paste. Go to apply, and now you're ready to go. Now you're ready to, to start your stream and do all of that fun stuff. Click OK, you're good to go. Now, what I wanna show you now is the ability to set up the stream. So once we're done, we can actually view this stream on the watch page. So if we click this link here and go to view on watch page, we can go to this new tab and now we can see what it's gonna look like. Here's my thumbnail, here's my chat box to the right, here is my title, here's my description, all of that good stuff. It's very very beautiful, allowing me to see exactly what my stream's gonna look like when people are watching it on the actual watch page. So you can do that by going to view on watch page. Now, once we've created basically our stream, we've set up the stream key, we've done all of the information, and all of that good stuff, we then want to go over to our live control room. This is gonna be when it's time to start streaming, when it's time to make sure that all of the balls are in the right place, everything's working like it should, YouTube gives you an option to preview the stream, make sure they're getting the feed, make sure they're getting the data, and boom, you're ready to go. So what you're gonna wanna do now is under the live control room tab, which is the right hand corner here, it shows the little uh, up and down arrows there. What you're gonna want to do here uh, is basically go ahead and go over to OBS. So go to OBS and go to start streaming. Now, once you do this, you're not gonna be live streaming publicly just yet. So basically once you hit that start streaming button on OBS, then you should see the option to preview with the blue button and you'll see something that says stream status and it should say good and it should say the health of your stream is good. Now, 
The next thing you want to do is preview your stream. So click the blue button there that says preview. Are you sure you want to preview this live event? Click OK. Give it a few seconds, maybe maybe even a minute, depending on the power of your machine. Uh, and then again, a lot of this may vary depending on the power of your PC or Mac and also the speed of your internet. So remember that. Uh, and then again, if you want to discuss bitrate and OBS and all of that good stuff, I have tutorials on all of that that I'll link below and in the annotations. So. Now that you can see, basically everything is going good. So the health is good. Basically, they're getting the feed. Everything looks good. When you're ready to go, after you've previewed the stream, basically here, everything looks good. Your public view is looking good down here below. What you can then do is click the blue button that says start streaming. I'm obviously not going to do this now because I do not want to surprise my viewers and subscribers. But you hit the blue button there that says start streaming. And then once you do that, my friends, you are streaming on YouTube and you'll have people fun funneling in and underneath this option here under the live control room you're you're actually going to be able to see how many people concurrent are in your uh, chat room how many people are in your stream you're also going to be able to go down here under public view and uh, basically take a look at what people are saying in chat if you want to you can even go here and click the uh, three dots there on the chat box and you can actually pop that chat out and put that anywhere on your desktop to basically see uh, where chat is or you can even drag it over to the screen that you're streaming and show people who are watching the stream the chat as well so again basically once you've walked through all of that everything's good to go you hit start streaming and my friends you are now live streaming on YouTube if you have any questions on how to do any of this how to set any of this up I know it's a lot of information to take in if you're having any issues on, on, on any step of the, the process please go ahead put that comment in the section the comment section below I will get to it as, as soon as possible if you know someone who's wanting to live stream share this video with them and, and when it comes to YouTube and learning YouTube I do a podcast called YouTube creators Hub every single Wednesday where I interview great creators like yourself and it really does bring value and helps you grow your YouTube channel so if you want to check out my podcast that's linked down below as well thank you guys as always for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and share this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one